In today's video, we're going to use the BBE-482i Sonic Maximizer on kick and snare, just like they do at Blackbird Studios. True Sound Studios is in your ears. Hey guys, what is up? I'm Wiesna, and as always, we are here in my studio, True Sound Studios. And today, I'm obviously inspired by Blackbird Studios to do the Sonic Maximizer on the kick and snare. So Blackbird Studios, besides my own studio, is definitely my favorite studio. So because of that, I've obviously borrowed some like techniques and things from Blackbird Studios, one of them being using the BBE-482i, the Sonic Maximizer, on kick drum and snare drum. Now in the past, I've been told that a Sonic Maximizer is really very similar to the loudness button on like a receiver, like a home theater receiver. But, you know, when you run it through the kick drum and snare drum signals to be able to process it with the brightness in the low end, it really does do something different than just a standard EQ would do. So for both the kick and snare sound, I'm gonna show you guys what it sounds like on both a triggered kick drum sound and a live kick drum sound along with a triggered snare drum and a live snare drum. So how I have the Sonic Maximizer hooked up to my DAW is I'm sending very simply a dedicated output for the kick drum and a dedicated output for the snare drum and sending it to the Sonic Maximizer and then you guys are hearing the results. Okay, so this should be fun. So let me show you guys what kick and snare sounds like running through the BBE-482i Sonic Maximizer.
Okay guys, so there you go. That is the BBE 482i Sonic Maximizer on kick and snare drum. So let's real quick just talk about the results of what this thing did to our kick drum and our snare drum. So the Sonic Maximizer has two knobs for channel one and another two knobs for channel two. Channel one, we had the kick drum on there and then on channel two was the snare drum. So you could tell as soon as I hit the BBE process button, the in, which meant the Sonic Maximizer was now engaged on both the kick and snare drum channels. You could hear when we turned the low contour and the process really what it was doing to both of those drums. So the low contour seemed to have like a center or a focus frequency somewhere around like 80 hertz, which is pretty good for kick drum because between 80 hertz and 60 hertz is really kind of like that low end package that I like to um, really focus on around the kick drum. When we got to the process though, that center frequency or the focus frequency was somewhere around 7K and that seemed to have even wider Q or was affecting even more of the frequencies below it and above it. Either way, with both of the knobs on here, the low and the process, you could hear a drastic difference in between really all of the um, drum sounds that I was giving you, whether it be number one, the totally raw sound, the second one where it was raw, there was the raw drums or the live drum sound, but it was somewhat processed, which was just nothing more than some gating and some just mild amount of EQ going on but you could tell with the low, it was really boosting a lot of the low end frequencies. And when the process, I mean, it, that really cut both the kick and the snare right through the mix. So with either the kick drum or the snare drum, you could hear when the Sonic Maximizer was engaged, you know, you really had a drastic sound uh, change in the kick and snare. I mean, you know, what's so great about the Sonic Maximizer is it's it's boosting that low end, which both the kick and the snare both need, to, you know, to have the, the girth and the, the power behind the drum. And then you also need the brightness for the snare drum to get those, those snares to rattle and also to get that drum to be able to cut through the mix so it has that brightness. And the same thing with the kick drum, especially now with modern music and really small drivers on laptops and smartphones and earbuds, it's really tough to get a frequency even like 80 hertz to be able to cut through those speakers. So it's kind of really important to use this process knob to get that brightness out of both the drums so that they cut through the mix and you can hear them on a, in a really a vast array of sound systems, whether it's huge sound systems or really small teeny tiny earbuds or laptop speakers. So if you guys do want to check out this Sonic Maximizer even further, I'll include a link in the description of this video. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you can find some use in purchasing your own Sonic Maximizer to put on kick and snare. So if you guys like this video, consider subscribing and hit that like button. Follow us on Instagram for daily posts. You can find the beats that I make right here at the studio on our SoundCloud page. True Sound Studios also mixes and masters your tracks. So once again, guys, thanks for watching this video. I'm Wiesna, we're at True Sound Studios, and True Sound Studios is in your ears. <laughs>